I, the, other, the person that I have to think the hardest is uh, the love of my life, Chris, whom uh, when I first met her, she was looking for a job, she said, but later I think she, I th decided she was really looking to get her hands on my camera, uh, <laughs> which I thought was reasonable. And I, I right away could see that she could be the partner that I really always was looking for, the person who had the same, was driven by the same passion for a certain kind of film that I was. And uh, uh, that's 36 years ago. And uh, we haven't changed, we, although when we make a film, yeah, give her a hand. I, she's so beautiful. She spent two hours getting made up tonight and she looks fantastic. But <laughs> when, uh, anyway, she, um, <laughs> she, she, she and I have made uh, a lot of films together. Uh, we made, of course, the, the, the War Room with Nick Dube, who I think is here, and, uh, uh, and, 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 when, and, and when we make films, when you're shooting them, you're great friends because there's nothing but problems to be solved, so you, you're pals. And then you sit down at either the Steenbeck or whatever editing machine there is, and it all begins. You get divorced about four times a week. <laughs> and, uh, but you know, it's a process even though you're practically choking each other to death over each, each editing decision, there's nothing in the world I love better than doing that with her. It's just my favorite thing. So even if I had nothing else to do, that would be the thing I would choose that would be the best fun. So I, anyway, that's, she knows all about this because I tell her all the time. Uh, I, uh, we, the, the two people that, that well, or the, the one person that, that, that was very instrumental in my education as a filmmaker was, was Bobby Newirth. And uh, he, uh, he sort of knew how to function in a, or in a group of people without disturbing them and yet watching what they really did, not what they pretended to do. And that was, uh, that, that for, that was something I was, uh, I needed to learn because I had never really filmed the number of, most of my films were uh, like Daybreak Express. I just got Duke Ellington music and you can't, you know, what can you do worse than that? Um, and then I, I, I think later that we, we worked with Joan Churchill and Alan Barker and um, we did a film searching for Jimi Hendrix and it was so marvelous to have somebody that I knew on, on the other coast, so we didn't have to, we had no budget for it, so we couldn't come flying out here to do something. And uh, Joan what, and, and, and uh, Alan, what they did was just as good as anything we could have done. So it taught me that people were learning and, and get, getting as good at this as, uh, as they needed to, and that was, a very exciting possibility. And then one day, R.J. Cutler and Wendy Ettinger came to visit us and neither of them had ever made a film. Am I going too long, do you think? You were... <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I, I want to overwhelm this thing here. But, uh, you know, oh, all right, well, anyway. They, they, they had never made a film and they said, why aren't you making a film about this election? And we said, what election, you know? <laughs> And indeed, so they, they really knew. Well, I'm getting mixed signals from my family here. Uh, and, um, and, and, and so they said, well, we'll get you. We said, we don't have any money and we don't know anybody there. And at this point, I think Clinton was in fourth place in New York. So and even though my uh, enthusiasm was for Clinton, I didn't see how to make that into a film. And uh, they said, well, we'll get you a little money, which they did, and we'll find out, we'll call up and get you some uh, uh, people to, 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 uh, to let you in. And, uh, and they did that, and we made the war room with them. And that was sort of a marvelous thing. You're saying, oh, all right. All right, so anyway, <laughs> I, I wanna say I'm really grateful uh, for this, uh, uh, this amazing award. 
and it, it, uh, what it tells me, or what I get from it is that uh, as, a, a, as a kind of a, a foreigner from New York, uh, who, who all my life, you know, ev everything I learned about films was in watching the movies that you people out here made. I mean, that's, that's, that's my education in film. And that uh, watching those films and, and thinking about this award has made me feel that finally uh, that the, uh, the between here and, uh, and New York, there's finally some kind of a bridge. And that uh, you guys all somehow now consider us fellow filmmakers. And that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you.